Hello there, people who have access to the internet and who are currently using it to watch this video. My name is Pun Food, or just Pun if you prefer. And last time on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Nuzla, I, it's still such a weird freight. Like, with Pikmin Free 3 Deluxe, like, that's an easier, like, that's the name of the game. But in this case, you know, I just think of it as Shining Pearl, because Pokemon is the name of the franchise, right? And then I don't think to add Nuzlocke onto the end, but Nuzlocke sort of adds, mess messes up the flow of the statement, and that I feel like it's better suited if I, you know, put like, Welcome back to the Nuzlocke of Pokemon Shining Pearl, as opposed to the Pokemon Shining Pearl Nuz- You get the point. <laughs> anyway, uh, last time, uh, we made our way, let's see. Map, here we are. We made our way through Eternal Forest, uh, through the rest of it, and finished up Route 205 and made our way to Eternal City. We explored most of Eternal City, and now we're taking on the Pokemon Gym. Uh, the team that we're going to be rolling into the gym with is going to be Witch, Fang, Rose, Hawk, Flash, and Root. Uh, we can't access our box from the gym. Uh, but we have only, like, water types, and then, I guess we do have a Drifloon in there, uh, we, but, like, I think this is a good team. Uh, I do quickly want to check, do we, did we get any more items for, en no, we didn't, we don't have any hold items. But we do have some TMs we can use, which will probably give us an edge, if we do. Uh, so... Yeah, I guess I am going to, uh, sort through those. Yeah, okay. Um, do we have enough potions? I can only... Yes. Um, we have a good amount of supplies. So, we could teach work up to a Pokemon. Uh, but we already have growth. Okay, we already used Rock Smash. Uh, it's not going to be too helpful. Stealth Rock could be good, but eh. Bullet Seed against a Grass Gym? No. Pluck, however! Cut won't be too good. And Rose is not a physical attacker, so... Recycle. Okay. Let's teach Pluck to a Pokemon. Uh, Fang currently doesn't have any flying-type moves, so we're gonna give Pluck to Fang. And, um... I'm gonna get rid of Astonish, just cause... Eh, Absorb is lower... <sighs> I don't know. We'll get rid of Absorb, yeah. And give it Pluck instead. Okay. The other thing is we could teach... I'm going to check and see how much better this is for Hawk. But I think that it's the same power. Yeah, Wing Attack and Pluck. Wing Attack is a better move, so... Yes. Okay. Workup could be taught to Hawk, but I don't really think we need to, nor do I really want to. Uh... Yes, cut is 50 power, but eh, okay. I think this is going to be it. Um, yeah, so I guess let's uh, t take on the gym leader. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, challenger. I hope I gave a good voice, but I realized halfway through that that I probably didn't. Oh well. Time to go find these trainers to I have to fight. Um, I wonder... No, it doesn't look... Okay. And here's trainer number one. I believe this is the only gym where you're required to fight all the trainers, so there might be other gyms where... It's impossible to avoid them. I don't know. But we are going to fight all the gym trainers anyway. In every gym. Just because I want to get EXP and not die. You know? Anyway. 
We'll use confusion and hope this thing... Okay. It has physical moves. That wasn't too bad. Let's do confusion again. Okay. I think that's a healing move. Uh, you suck. Okay. We'll go for confusion again. It's just gonna keep healing. Okay. Seriously. Like, can you please, you know... Why? Okay. We go for confusion. We go for another confusion. It goes for growth. Which doesn't raise speed, right? And if we go for confusion, it should go down. Okay. But the fact that that thing had a healing move and that it took a while to be even though it's... Uh, okay. I'm scared. I think it's a special attacker, but that doesn't stop me from being worried that it might have a physical move. Even though we are super effective, we only do half. And it's leech cheating, which is gonna sap our health and give some back. So... We're switching. Uh, but to who we're switching to Fang. Okay. Good dodge. And go for pluck. Dang it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah! Okay. Good EXP. Root only has 20 speed at level 21. That's not the best. The next trainer... I believe the trainers only appear after you uh, beat the last one in the sequence, but before we fight this person... I'm not allowed to use items in battle, but nothing's stopping me from using one of my Paralyze heals and a potion. Alright. Let's hope they lead with a po Grass Poison. Instead of... Because, like, I would like to get a super effective Confusion and hopefully take out their first Pokemon. Oh yeah, we got this in the bag. Okay, confusion, and hopefully this just takes it out immediately. It doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Sun Stun Spore. I'm a bit worried, but we're at full health. Mm. Absorb. That's, yeah, that's not bad. Okay. And, good. Good level up for which um, Hawk leveled up. That's going to be helpful. Another Budu. Uh, it's weaker, but do... Yeah, why not? We might even be able to one-shot it, because... No, we can't. Because... Uh, Alright. I really want Witch to be strong um, for the next gym. Uh, 
But also just because Ghost is just a really good defensive typing. You know, resistances to both Poison Bug and uh, immunity to normal and fighting. Plus your only weaknesses are two... Is one obscure type, that being Ghost, yourself, you know. Meaning that if you're in against a Ghost type, you know. It's not too bad. And your other weakness is Dark. Dark can be scary, but like... Dark has enough common weaknesses in that of fighting and bug. You know. But also just having, you know, a weakness to Fairy, which is a bit harder to come across in this game because... It's a remake of a game before Fairy type, but still. Ghost is a good type, so I want to keep Mischievous Witch alive. Um, that and just I've never used one before. I've always liked the idea of a um, Nuzlocke for being able to use Pokemon that you wouldn't have normally used otherwise. Uh, though it can be frustrating... Uh, to watch some of your Pokemon die, you know. It's like, because then if a Pokemon that you never used before dies, well then you didn't get to use it anyway, so like, you know. And... I believe I said that Whiting Out was an instant game over, and that is true uh, for every battle except for the Elite Four in Pokemon League. Uh... Only reason I'm doing that, because if I get to the Elite Four, I want to beat them anyway, you know? So... But, like, if I lose to any other battle, then yeah. I mean, it's kind of, you know, I guess weird to just bring it up, you know, right now. Like, in the middle of just a random episode. I guess it is a gym battle episode. But still, you know... Um... I definitely think, uh, you know, just like, the Elite Four and Champion in this game are, you know, pretty tough, you know, like, I guess, you know, in Sword and Shield, they basically healed you after every battle for free, you know, or is this game you have to spend your own resources, you know? And in Sword and Shield, you got a break between, you know, a lot of the battles where you could actually change your team and do stuff like that, you know. And I'm switching out because that drops my defense, I think. Yep. Okay. Uh, but yeah. That's not to say Sword and Shield are bad games. I actually did struggle against Leon uh, in my first playthrough of Sword and Shield. He was the only trainer that actually caused me to die. And I don't think I was even that underleveled. In fact, it was down to a one-on-one -on -one match. His Charizard, I believe, versus one of my Pokemon. I can't remember which one. But, you know. So it was close. I just got a little unlucky with the damage rolls uh, in that case. But also in one of my pre like um, more recent playthroughs of Pokemon Sword and Shield... He did actually take me out a couple times, but that was because I was underleveled, because I wasn't grinding off a of Pokemon in the wild area and doing all that stuff, you know, that you're normally supposed to do. Uh, but I mean, yeah. I think, honestly, people complain about the newer Pokemon games being too easy. That's not true at all. They're still pretty difficult. Like, I still actually had to put in effort and actually think about stuff more strategically in um, Sun and Moon and and uh, Sword and Shield. The only one was X and Y where I didn't really have to think too hard about stuff like that. Um, also, we're just going to switch Fang to the front because while the EXP on Mr. Viss would be n which I gotta start calling my Pokemon by their nicknames so that way when they die I can feel sad. Um, <laughs> but um... But, uh, but, you know, like, I don't think the newer Pokemon games are really easy. I just think they're better balanced. Like, in Sinnoh, this game, 
You'll be fighting like the 8th gym leader and you'll go into the Elite Four like 5 levels under, you know? And might still be a few levels under by the time you reach, you know, the champion. Like... You know... It didn't help that last playthrough of this game, um... I had a very slow team. You know, so I was like kind of going second most of the time. At least against Sealy 4. But like. But the difference is, is I guess in these games they gave the Elite Four and Champion held items, whereas in other Pokemon games they don't usually do that. I don't know if that's exclusive to the remakes, but if it is, I guess it's them trying to make it harder. I don't think it really needed to be harder. You know, I still think Leon is probably the hardest champion, uh, just because I actually lost to him, you know, whereas I didn't lose to this game's champion the first time through, you know, so like... To be fair, this game I did use battle items, but like, to be fair, I also, you know, didn't use battle items against Leon to, you know, when I lost or when I won either, you know. So make of that what you will. I mean, no matter what, you can't stop me from feeling the way I feel. You can try to change my mind. I doubt it's going to work, but you know, do whatever. Have your own opinions. I mean, I'm basically the only one in my friend group who actually likes X and Y and thinks they're probably one of my favorite Pokemon games. Everyone else just thinks they're broken and they're horrible at level balancing. And I'm just sitting here thinking, like, nah, I'm pretty sure they're just fine at level balancing. Like, yeah, it, you might get a little bit too much EXP, but it was their first attempt at it, so don't hit them too hard. You know, plus they make up for it in other areas, in my opinion. But, what do I know? I'm just, you know, some guy who's posting videos for people to watch who have access to the internet. Anyway. You kept me waiting. I'm Eternus Gym Leader. Gardenia, the Grass-type Master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So, anyway, this'll be fun! Let's have our battle! Alright, versus Gardenia. She has three Pokémon, just like Rourke. Uh, I'm personally of the opinion that the first two gym leaders should have two Pokémon. Gyms three and four, three, four, and five should have three. Gyms six and s six, seven, and eight should have four, the Elite Four should have five Pokemon, and the Champion should have six, but what do I know? Anyway. First Pokemon is Cherubi. Uh, I think I'll go for Poison Fang. It's less powerful, but has a chance to badly poison. Plus, if I just one-shot it, it's good. Badly poison, meaning if it tries to heal with Morning Sun, Safeguard. I thought that protected from... I can't rem... Lucky Chant protects from crit. Safeguard protects from status. Okay. Well, then we might as well go for Poison Fang again. Considering it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to... Hit them for status conditions. I mean, not that I mind, considering uh, her ace is immune to being poisoned on its own anyway. So, what do I know? That's not even a what do I know. Why did I say what... It, whatever. Mean look. Mean Look is a great move if you're trying to catch a roaming legendary. And we are going to probably get rid of Spite because I don't see this really being... There is one case where I'd see Spite being useful. And that's against the champion just because she has a Pokemon that can use a healing move. Uh, we already have ways to confuse our opponent. 
But do we even need Mean Look? It only is... No, we don't. Mean Look is good, but, like, it's not that good to use in, like, a playthrough. It's really just good if you're trying to catch a Pokemon. Like, I guess it could be useful against, you know? A p like, a something like an Abra, but still. Uh, we're gonna go for Pluck, because we still get Stab. And I don't think we can actually Poison due to Safeguard. Turtwig is strong. I mean, we literally had one. And Reflect. That's not good for us. Considering all we have is physical moves. Uh, at least on this Pokemon. We do have some special moves, but they're not the strongest. Nor are they even good against Grass types. Uh, I could just... Okay, that's actually good. Because this way, Reflect is going to wear off. Um, but I... More concerned about potentially losing um, Fang than I would be any of, like, Hawk. Like, not, that's not to say I don't like Hawk. It's just to say that Fang is flying poison type or his Hawk is flying normal. And Fang is just, like, has more potential. Like, Hawk is immune to ghost type attacks compared to Fang, who isn't, you know. But I think I would still rather have the flying poison type as opposed to, you know, not the flying poison type. I don't know what I'm trying. The point is, is that, like, I think Fang is just the better Pokemon, in my personal opinion. Sure, Hawk has Intimidate, but Fang can't be flinched or intimidated anyway, so, like... Also, here's her ace. It's a Roserade. So, we're gonna... We're gonna supersonic this thing. I was worried about that. Please live. We four times resist it. It's fine. We hit the supersonic. And we're gonna swap. Because even if it hits itself in confusion, I do not want to be in here. I would rather have Hawk in... So he can, she can do the damage. I would also rather wrap this gym battle up quickly, because I think this whole episode is just going to be the gym, because I have places to be after I finish recording. <laughs> you know, so I don't have time to just do whatever. Uh, so, I want to finish this up so I can do at least one other thing that I wanted to do in this episode. <laughs> But if this battle takes forever, that's fine, too. Okay. At least it's hitting itself in confusion. Oh, and that's just a kill with wing attack. Okay. Well, good for us. Um, Hawk is pretty strong. Fang is pretty strong, too. Eh, Fang... I feel like when Fang... What does Quick... Okay, I can't remember what Quick Dark does. Protects from priority. Does priority still hit before Protect goes up? I don't think it does. But I wouldn't know. I think I'm good with the loadout I have. Root, getting those defenses up. Bite is always a good move, and we're not really going to be using Withdraw much anymore. Let me tell you, in my other playthrough of this game, I kept Razor Leaf on my Turtwig, Grotto, Torte, whatever, until the very end of the game. Actually, I still have it on it, on my other file. Amazing! You're very good, aren't you? I just like the idea that, like, she's calm, and then when you fight her, you know, she's just, like, all excited. I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to... Re Not really? I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this! What is it again? Force Badge! Yay! With the Forest Badge, the Hidden Move Cut will be available from your Pokatch. Now that you have two Gym Badges, 
All Pokemon you received from trades will obey you. Up to level 30. You should have said, like, le level 30 before you ended your text box, because, whatever. I've also got something else for you. These are a gift from me. Stickers. TMs. Each TM contains Grass Knot. It's one of my favorite moves. Then why didn't you use it? Like, ever. I guess because we're light, but whatever. Anyway. See you, Gardenia. I've got to go and do stuff. But yeah, second gym battle. Pretty good. Um, Let's go heal up really quick, though. Um, yeah. And now I'm left with an important decision to make. And that's what now? Because I have a few options. We're going to turn a city. And we still have to take care of stuff here. Then we can head down this way. And get an encounter and such. But. There is an encounter we could get on Route 211. But I don't know if I want to. I don't really remember what levels are on Route 211. Not only that, but there's another thing we can do in the city, and even then, the next gym battle, I'm not sure what team I want to roll with. Um, let's check out our boxes. Okay. All our Pokemon are definitely below levels that we want them at, so who do we not really want for the next gym? I think I definitely want to put squishy on the team but who to swap with um let's swap with flash and i think i want to use wanderer i'm sorry hawk but i think i'm gonna swap you two uh i think just because not because like i don't want to use hawk but I think mostly because I just don't know how useful Hawk is going to be for the next gym. Uh, Wander is going to be actually pretty good. Um, and I guess we should move Squishy to the front for EXP. Okay. And how am I doing on time? Okay. Um, the other thing. We got... TMs, that's it, right? Yeah, just grass nut. Okay. Um, I want to pull out this. And I want to check friendship. How are we doing for friendship? No one really seems to like me. Or at least, you know, not like... I don't know. Um... I do want to also check our stats, though. Um, speed at 14, 43, 30, 42, 29. Hmm. I feel like there's something we could do with Squishy. Like, in the sticky hole ability, but I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh. I do also want to check berries and what kind of berries we have. I think I'm going to give this to Squishy. And give another one to Rose. Just to improve their survivability. Uh. And I want to also see what the Pokemon has in store. Uh, just because, like, we're here, I guess, you know. Anything useful? Well, yeah, there is. <sighs> Do I want to buy more Super po uh, I think we're good. 
Mm. I'm gonna buy four repels just so we have some extra on us in case we're hurt and I don't think we can go on. Well, you know, fight any more things. Anyway, uh, now that we have cut, there's a few things we could do back this way. And I think I'm gonna go do those first. With cut, we can come over here and we can come this way and come up here and I believe there's stuff to do. There's berries. And more berries. And more berries. And even more berries. Okay. Uh. And we get stickers. Okay. There's a tree, but also up here there's some items. Silver powder, I believe, improves bug moves. Uh. Sleep talk. That's a good TM, but maybe for endgame. Though I don't know how many Pokemon can really put us to sleep. I can't remember who would have what. And I believe that this... Well, I sort of know, but... Yeah. This is back where we were la two episodes ago. Um, and the tree's already back. Uh, so we found the stuff over here. And then, there was another thing that I needed to do. Okay, come over here. I don't know why I'm saying come over. We, we're just, whatever. <sighs> um, but our next objective is here. Um... So rather there's like a hidden item over there. I mean, I know there's one here. If we cut down this tree and head over this way, we can get a thief, TM for Thief. But... This is the Eterna Galactic building. Uh, which we will have to tackle next time. But for now... My name has been and will be tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that and always will be pun food. There really was something else I wanted to do this episode, but I just ran out of time.